Hi guys. I uh, just wanted to pop on with a quick video. I'm holding it by hand so I can kind of show what I wanted to show. Um, so, sorry for the bobbles. Uh, as you can see, my two silicone Kimberly babies are here. We have Vivi and we have Nina. And they are the Peter Sculpt Asleep and the Clayton Sculpt Asleep. So, I am showing them um, just some accessories that I made for them. I didn't end up making some clothes and, um, they're both wearing something I made for them. This was, oh, I don't know where the little outfit is. Oh, yes, I do. It's on a different doll. Anyways, I made a couple of some outfits. This was the second one I made. Um, I had to size down some free patterns I found online that were made for bitty babies, which I think are about the same length, but their bitty babies are much wider. These babies are so skinny. I really had to scale down the width and maybe the length a little bit. Um, but not much. So this is my second attempt here on this outfit at getting it correct, the proportions and stuff. I have the pattern, but like I said, it would just be huge on them. So these are fabrics I bought at just like Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby. And, uh, they're knit, so they're stretchy, um, but they're adorable. And you can make these, um, outfits. They have, you know, the sleeves, obviously you have to attach them. So you can do, um, the sleeve that's different from the shirt, or you can make it the same. I like the look of it being different and I like it, how the sleeve matches the pant. And then the back of the shirt is open. This is just some Velcro, which you're probably not supposed to say on YouTube because that's trademarked. It's hook and loop closure, but you can see that. And it goes um, all the way down the shirt. The whole back opens up, which I think makes it real easy to dress um, a silicone baby because you don't have to put anything over their head. And these girls have big heads, so um, the opening in the back is really nice. And then the waist is just elastic. So she has on just a regular diaper. I did make a diaper too, which she's wearing. I'll show that too. But this one is just a regular um, long sleeve top. I did add little banding to the bottom of these pants. Um, there's a little cloud peeking out there. I got to sneeze just a second. Happens every time. It seems like I start a video. I get sneezy and stuffy. and So anyways, um, we were just at music practice. And the house we practiced at today has a dog, which I am quite allergic to. And so I am a little extra sneezy. But anyways, um, so I did add a band to the bottom of these pants. But the arms are just a regular seam. And then the bottom's a regular seam. The neck's just a regular seam, if you can see. So, anyways, really cute. Pretty thin. Just some thin knit material. And then, let's see. I made a couple more different ones. Well, here's the, here's the diaper, first of all. It's just a little cloth-type diaper. This is made out of flannel. Now, this one, I again, it, I got a diaper pattern from Bitty Baby. That was free, and I had to size it down, but that's what it looks like all unfolded. But being that they're so skinny, I put the Velcro um, a lot of the ways here, and I put fairly large tabs. But even so, when it was closed like that, it's she's too skinny, so I had to add Velcro here so I can pull it all the way over. So this the width right at this top part is too big. So when I made another one. I altered it. Let's see if I can pull these down just a little. There we go. So she now has a new diaper and it fits her. They just meet right there, but they're still Velcro in the same spots. I just made it shorter, this part shorter, so that her little skinny belly would fit better. See if I can pull these up one-handed. So this is the last outfit I made after I've been kind of, shall I say, perfecting it. <laughs> um, I've made adjustments and things. Let's see, get that down. So 
Um, I still like the sleeves with the, the sleeve matching the pant. Um, and I do like the, I like the solid with the print. I really like the polka dots of the clouds too, but, um, I like the print to be kind of the focus, um, on the shirt. And that's a dinosaur. Her arm kind of covers it, but that's a dinosaur. Um, but I added banding to the sleeves, kind of like a sweatshirt or a long sleeve tee would have. I added a band to the neck and it's a little bit thinner. And then I added a band to the bottom. Let me see if I can pick that up. Yep. So there's the band on the bottom, kind of like a sweatshirt would have. On the back, she still has a Velcro hook and loop closure, but I made the Velcro a lot thinner than the other one. So that's all it is. So that's, um, again, it still opens up all the way. So the pants are slightly long. I'm having to pull them up off their, their heels a lot, but um, I like how that fits. I custom the fit to the waist. Um, their headbands are just from Walmart, the dollar headbands that I really like. In fact, uh, at my local Walmart, I found a bunch of new colors. Um, I can't remember if the purple was new or not, but and then they had like a four pack I think for three bucks it wasn't the same nylonic material but um it was but it was really cute and they had a five or six pack of bows on clearance for one dollar so I got a pack of that but some other things that I've been making I'll show you this outfit super cute these little pants here with the little like arrow kind of things and the shirt that goes with it is this one now this was the first one that I put a band on the top and it's too thick. So I made it thinner, which is this one here. And it does fit a lot better. It was kind of like looking almost like a turtleneck, kind of poking up at her face. So I thinned that down and it looks really good. And then I gave it a top stitch here and top stitch here to keep the bands facing down so they don't kind of like puff out like that. But I really like the green and with the arrows on this and the green in the flowers. So I think that one's adorable. And then, let's see, this one I really love. These are like a ribbed knit. It's super soft. Um, not super stretchy, but plenty of stretch. And I can't do it with one hand, but they stretch. These I bought from the material from Hobby Lobby. But the pants are all the same. And then the shirt... It's, this one was before I added banding to anything, so there's no banding on the bottom or the sleeves or the neck. But I really like the color combo here with the arrows as the focal print and then the, the blush color as the, the solid. I really like that. So they had the arrow print in that green I just showed, this one in a gray. And this is kind of a rusty color, really pretty if you ask me. I, I like that a lot. Um, and then I did make a couple more for, um, somebody and I've already mailed them and I have another order for a dinosaur shirt like that or outfit, I should say. And I have a whole bunch more material that I'm going to be making with some different prints, some different solids. Um, and then I have, now this is something I did a little while ago, but I just made some pants Let's see, I think these, if I have, let me see here, there's no tag. I believe these were just regular, oh yeah, these were three to six month pants that I just cut them down. I took off the waistband and cut it down here and added the elastic back and the same with the legs. I trimmed them and uh, took out some width. So these fit are really, really good. Actually, would this match? Let me see. Uh, not really. That's not tear. I don't know. Anyways, what I did make to go with this was this top. Now, this was an 18-month size onesie that I cut down, and I made it into, sorry, into a t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt, and this um, fits her really good because it's pretty narrow. And then I just made this little hat to go with it, with, and I put a little bow on it. So that's an outfit. That's the first one I made for her. And then I remembered I had this pattern, 
and I just had to figure out the sizing, and cut it down and trim it down, whatever, and customize it, and it worked real good. It looks adorable, and I'm going to be selling some. Um, so far, I only have it in 15-inch size. I will be working on an 11-inch size, but uh, obviously I'll have to cut it down, trim it down a lot more than, than this, but I would like to work on that at some point. The other thing I found that I wanted to share was this bottle. It, look how tiny it is. I'll put it by her. It's just super tiny. Um, I found it at Goodwill. It was brand new, still in its package. It was just one, just a single bottle. I'm trying to get the cap off. Hold on a minute. I'll put the, sorry, I'm wiggling to get the cap off. Um, but look, it's just super tiny. Look how tiny that nipple is. It's tiny. Came with one of those stoppers that you can put on the inside. You can kind of see it in there. So when I tip it, it doesn't go into the nipple because it, that stopper's in there. But then I don't have to seal this with any kind of silicone or anything. And the bottle has fire trucks on it, which is more boyish. But I didn't care. It was just so cute and so tiny. I thought it would be perfect for these girls. And it does fit in their mouth. Let's see if I can. Might have to. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can go over here. See how it's in her mouth? So it fits perfect. Now I have to work a little harder to get it in Nina's mouth because her mouth is smaller. Let's do it this way and tighter. Um, Vivi's mouth is big. So Vivi can easily take it. But um, I say that and then I have trouble. There we go. But um. Nina's mouth is much smaller, so I'd have to use two hands and squeeze it in there real carefully. But she does it does go in, but it's cute. Look how cute she looks with that. And see how tiny that is? It's kind of like her size. I mean, in the liquid amount, it only goes up to like two ounces. There's some um, measurements here. So it's really tiny. So cute. Obviously, it's made for preemie babies, but I just thought it was adorable and... Um, had to had to buy it. It was like a dollar. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. A little teeny tiny thing. So what I use inside of it, I put some uh, fabric softener. I got it at the Dollar Tree. It's just a small little liquid fabric softener because I don't use that in my dryer here. But I have it for dolls. And then I put a little few drops of vanilla in it to give it a little less white color like it's milk. Um, like mama milk and so um, that's how I do it to try to make it look a little more realistic than fabric software but the consistency or the texture the thickness of the liquids is nice I like how thick it is um, breast milk is fairly watery um, but I think this looks pretty good I don't think it looks exactly like it but I think it looks pretty good so anyways um, I just wanted to come on and share that, the outfits that I've made, and then my cool little bottle find. I found this blanket, too, which is really pretty. It's that muslin, and it's, I don't know if these are, I think they're flowers. I was thinking they were oranges or peaches. I'm not sure if they're flowers or peaches, but whatever they are, they're really pretty. I've never seen a blanket, a muslin blanket with this print, so I picked that up, too. So that's all I have. It ended up being like 14 minutes, so I guess it wasn't super short, but... I really love these babies, and um, I really enjoy making things for them. And uh, like I said, I plan to make more more sizes, and um, hopefully I'll have some more people that would like to purchase. Uh, I'm doing that through Facebook. So um, keep watching. I've got more stuff coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye.